Good morning, gentlemen. We're on our 20th segment of Think Before You Speak, the series of Shmirat HaLashon with Clarity. Lilu Nishmat, the Hafez Chaim, Zechet Tzadik Lebracha. Lilu Nishmat, Luz Aliza, Bat Hanriet, and her children that were lost in the fire. This is dedicated, these halachot are dedicated for the Yeshuot and Ipsurotovot of our Bnei Chabura, the Yeshuot of Klal Yisrael, and specifically as well for the Yeshuot and the Shmira Eliona for Chaim David Dov and Chayesar. Today's halachot titled Diffusing Arguments. Now we've already discussed in the past that to disgrace somebody for their personality faults is even worse than to disgrace them for their actions. Amazing. And by the way, people tend to believe that Lashon Hara more than even the Lashon Hara of actions. However, there's actually a time that you're allowed to talk about somebody's personality faults. And not only that, it's even a mitzvah to do so. Could you imagine? It's a mitzvah to go and talk about somebody else's personality faults. And when is that time? When you're coming to diffuse an argument. When you're coming to bring shalom between people. Then, as an example, you have a guy who is very sensitive. And he hates another guy because that guy offended him. You're allowed to go over to the guy that was offended and tell him, listen, don't take it to heart. You know sometimes this guy kids around. Or you know sometimes this guy acts a little foolish. Come on, he didn't mean it. It wasn't that there was any hurtful intent. Or maybe you could tell the guy, he has a very coarse way of speaking, but he speaks like that to everybody. That's just the way he speaks. But he didn't mean it to hurt you in any way. He didn't mean it with a harmful intent. You see, then already you're actually highlighting personality faults, but it was meant to diffuse an argument. Then you're allowed to do so. Matter of fact, it's a mitzvah to do so, to bring shalom back between two people. Amazing. So just for clarity, you can speak about personality faults as long as it diffuses an argument and brings shalom. Now, if people consider that a per certain person is considered Talmid Chacham, you're not allowed to go and say, you know, the guy that you think is Talmid Chacham, he really doesn't know that much. Number one, that will embarrass him. And also, that really hurts his standing in the community and amongst people. However, if the community is actually considering hiring a rabbi and they're looking into different candidates and they're looking into one guy that they're actually leaning towards and you know that they're kind of under a false impression, let's just say, thinking that he's a much bigger Torah scholar than he really is, then you're actually allowed to go and tell them, hey, I know you're looking into this person as the next rabbi of the shul. I just want to let you know you might be under a false impression of his Torah knowledge, he might not be as qualified as you think. Now, clearly this goes with those famous conditions. You're not allowed to exaggerate, and you have to know the information firsthand, and you cannot be an enemy of the person, and you cannot have any other ulterior motive other than the toilet. But considering that you have those conditions in place, you're allowed to give them a heads up that they're under a false impression. I just want to end off with a thought. It's amazing to me. Lashon Hara is so serious. And Borei Olam is so makbit on Lashon Hara. And yet, when it came to diffusing an argument between two Jews, Hashem was willing to even allow you to highlight someone's personality fault just to bring back the shalom between two Jews. I think that ain raya gedola mizu, how big the concept of shalom between two Jews in the eyes of Hashem. Like the famous words of the Chatam Sofer, Hasam givulech shalom. When someone draws the line and says, this is where I draw my line in life. You know the line I draw? Shalom. Hasam givulech shalom. This is a line that I will not cross. When it comes to shalom, that's why I draw the line. You know what he's ochetu? Chelev chitim yasbi'ech. Hashem blesses him with the fattest 
and the good of all the wheat and parnasa in the world. Thank you for listening.